This video is a continuation of the video I made about how to play a basic eighth note beat. Make sure you watch that one first for this one to make sense. We're next going to learn a few variations on the bass drum pattern. In the first video, we played the bass drum on the one and three, and we played the snare on the two and four. We're not going to change the snare drum pattern. We're going to play the hi-hat on all eight eighth notes as well. We're also going to remember some of the principles I was talking about, which are playing nice and slowly, playing the hi-hat softly and the snare drum and bass drum with a little punchy, pokey sound, playing them a bit louder than the hi-hat in other words. We're going to remember to breathe, and most importantly, we're going to count out loud while we're playing, because this will allow you to really develop a strong sense of timing. It'll allow you to focus really well on what you're doing, and it helps your brain to remember the patterns that you're playing. And you'll be able to connect the counts with the different bass drum patterns. First, let's just remind ourselves how to count those eighth notes. One, and two, and three, and four, and. 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 Remember that this counting provides us with a framework upon which we're going to place the different sounds that we're making with the snare, bass, and hi-hat in this case. So let's start playing some eighth notes on the hi-hat, and don't forget to count. One and two and three and four and one and two. We're playing fairly lightly. Four and the hi-hat cuts through anything. And three and four and. And if you want to develop a really solid sense of groove and play really accurately, you need to be relaxed. Two and three and four and. So we don't need to hit the hi-hat hard. We don't really need to invoke our muscles much. We're using gravity mostly. One and two and three and four and. Then we played originally the bass on the one and the three. One and two and three and we add the snare on the two and four. One, two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Next, we're going to just add an extra bass drum on the and after the one and the and after the three. I call that the one and and the three and. Meaning we're going to play a pattern that sounds like this. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. So slowly we're going to count out loud. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Some people will be able to just play that straight away without any trouble. If you are not lucky enough to be one of those people, you might have to break that down a little bit if you find the coordination at all tricky. So you can think about playing two bass drum notes and two hi-hat notes at the same time together. And I would count it. One and. And just do that a few times. One and. One and. And understanding how to break things down can be really helpful for anything that you learn at any level, really. One and. After you've done that a couple of times, add the snare. Two and. In this case, we play snare and the hi-hat together but then one hi-hat note on its own. So then we put it together slowly. One, and, two, and. And you could just do it like that a few times. One, and, two, and. One, and, two, and. One, and, two, and. One more time. One, and, two, and. Whether or not you pick that up quickly or you had to break it down, don't worry, it really doesn't make any difference. Uh, after teaching hundreds and hundreds of people, I find that some people manage to pick up the first bunch of stuff pretty quickly, but then uh, everything grinds to a standstill. Uh, so I found very, very few people who have a very quick rate of learning that persists. Um, so if you think some people are learning faster than you, don't worry, it doesn't really mean anything. Uh, take your time and get yourself comfortable with, with what you're learning. Okay, so 
Once you've done that, broke it down, if you needed to, sit and practice the beat over and over again. Relax, try and remember to breathe and make sure that you're counting out loud, okay? Um, when you're counting and breathing, maybe you need to learn how to coordinate that a little bit. Counting when you're first learning this stuff can make it feel a little bit tricky, but I promise you it's worth doing. So let's play the beat a little bit. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Remember to keep the hi-hat nice and light. Two and three and four and. And the bass drum, a nice solid stomp and a nice snap on the snare. Three and four and. When you're first learning how to do this, it's very possible that you're going to accentuate the strokes where you play the bass and the hi-hat together or the snare and the hi-hat together. So you might end up doing this. And three and four and one and two and three and four and. But if you keep working on this slowly, you can learn how to balance the hi hat so you play very even strokes on the hi hat and they don't get disrupted when you add the bass drum and the snare. One and two and three and four. And work really patiently on this. And two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and if you decided to practice this five or ten minutes a day, four, and allow yourself to take a couple of weeks to really get the hang of this. And three, and I know you're trying to play a Sex Pistols song as fast as you can. Two, and go ahead, do that as well. And four, and. But practice doing this, counting and playing slowly. Two, and you'll thank me later. Three, and four, and. Yes, it's not sexy. And two, and three. I'd like to say it's like meditation. Four, and I don't really think it is. One, and two, and. It's not entirely unlike meditation. And four. And just concentrating on the sound of every stroke. Two and three and four and one and try and line everything up nice and evenly. Three and four and one and two and thank you, thank you to anyone who's still with me. And four and push. Once you've got the hang of that at a slow tempo, you can start playing it a little bit faster. It sounds a bit more like music. One and two and three and four. You're still counting though. Two and three and four and. Two and three and four and. Watch the balance between the hands and feet. Three and four and. Soft, lighter hi-hat. Four and one and two and. Loud and punchy snare and bass. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So there's your second basic eighth note beat pattern. Learn how to work really slowly. Remember the dynamics there, keeping the hi-hat nice and soft and the snare and bass drum louder. Learn how to breathe and learn how to count out loud. Most importantly, be patient and take your time with this stuff because the rewards will come later, I absolutely promise. Thanks for watching. If you got this far, let me know what you thought in the comments. Also, let me know if you've got any ideas that you'd like me to explore. And uh, why not subscribe if you'd like to see the future videos that I'm going to be offering. Meanwhile, go away and practice.